Sky Children of the Light is probably the coziest MMO I've ever played, and today's video is the first part of what I think will be a two-part series of my Sky live streams. Thanks to that game company for sponsoring this live stream and giving me the opportunity to try something that I very rarely dabble in but have always wanted to explore, online games with a social component. <laughs> I hope you enjoy watching the stream. The beginning has been slightly edited for brevity, but otherwise it's pretty much the VOD in its entirety. You can pick up Sky now on PC, Android, iOS, Steam, and PlayStation, basically everywhere, and there's crossplay. So consider joining one of the kindest online communities I think I've encountered. And if you do, I hope you have a great time with it. So excited, y'all. Okay, so this stream is an exceptionally special one to me. Not only is it the first like full week that I'm back, I was I streamed last week, but you know it's, that was a dip a toe in the water. This is like sky hype. We can call we can call it Skype. I like where your brain's going. <laughs> Wait, I think we might have some legal issues there. Um, but yeah, I am just today is extra special to me. Um, it is a sponsored stream. I want to thank that game company for sponsoring this stream, being a part of it, uh, they reached out to me and said, hey, our game Sky Children of the Light is coming to PC. Would you like to be a part of the celebration? And y'all, when, <laughs> when I say I fangirled when I got the email, I fangirled when I got the email. I have been such a big fan of that game company since I played Journey which was before I got into the game industry. Uh, it was actually one of the reasons that I kind of wanted to start working in indie games specifically. Like my first indie game that I played probably technically was To The Moon. The first one that made me say, I want to make this and make people feel things was Journey. The game just came out on Steam. It's been out on mobile. Um, but you will be able to enjoy it now on PC if you would like to. Um, yes, and thank you, Dunk, for putting that link back in. Uh, hey, Khalees, to welcome in. Sky is the limit again, Roth. Good to see you. So I'm here with my Sky Pal. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me see. Actually, maybe I want to use controller because or keyboard and mouse because I think that'll be a little easier. Yay! Hello. I'm very bad with the controls, I will say. Flying, I love it. Am I chaotic? Yes. Oh my gosh, wait. You are so cute and little. Okay. So what I love is you've got a bevy of emotes here and I have this one that I think is kind of cute. I don't know if I can use it though. There we go. <laughs> I've got some bubbles that I found. Um, this game is just utterly charming because you can just explore with your friends, you have emotes that you can use, and you just wander around and you can just vibe if you want. If you're like, I don't want to worry about the story, it's okay, you don't have to. You can just live, yes, you can just live here. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> the only complaint I have with Sky is I don't want to ever leave it. Honestly though, like, look at this, look at my cape. Look at my teapot. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, this is something that I've done and I've loved so much. Um, how can I set it down? Space create. Okay, so here's one thing that I've really loved. You can hang out with characters <gasps> and have a tea party. Oh my God. Beautiful afternoon. Hey, Indy Informer. <laughs> so good to see you. Uh, we're just having a little tea party, hanging out with that game company's Sky Pal. Um, and y'all know I love a good tea. I love a good coffee. We can also reach out and, let's see, grab a snack. A little Sky snack. What is this? Player recorded this shared memory for others to enjoy. Stay with me. Oh, 
So this is one of the hubs that you have in the game, but when you start, you actually start a little bit further back in a village, and there's a character that guides you through a lot of your first interactions. Hey, Jordan Draws Birds! This game is so cute. It's been so long since I played. I remember when this first came out, and I started playing it on mobile, and I ended up not finishing it. And so um, this is my first time like going all the way through and actually like putting real time into the game. And I've been loving it so much. Yeah, you can explore. You can use a button and it just calls out notes. Ooh, what does this do? Oh, oh no, I think I broke something. <laughs> Yeah, they changed it. Um, well, there was like a sort of islandy looking place. Like there's a shore that you start on, but it has, there is like a sort of deserted village that you begin. So it's, oh, I found my nest. <gasps> oh, didn't even mean to, and we're already doing it. <laughs> um, so they have, and I talked with them, they have updated their like an intro to the game to make it more tutorialized. Um, but yeah, I think largely it's otherwise the same. <gasps> oh, this is so nice. Okay, so Amazon has the music by Vincent Diamante for sale, by the way. I think that's better than the ambient mixes on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, if it's the official one, probably it's good to support the developers as well, the composer, if it goes more directly to them. Also, if you see, sorry, you look at this, if you press F, these again are these recordings and memories. You can give folks thumbs up. And this it's just nice. Nice to support people and like they can leave nice notes. I've left a couple of nice notes, but I don't know if um, anyone's seen them yet. <laughs> Kind of giving me Hobbiton vibes, to be very honest. Okay. Oh. This feels like... Can I do a big... Big call here? Oh! I can! Oh! Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Specific egg! Oh my gosh, if I could get a shout out for a specific egg, who is this absolutely wonderful human being. Um, also was playing Sky. Uh, the other day so if you want another person who's enjoying sky definitely check her out um amazing cozy content creator we also got to hang out at pax east at the that came company dinner it was very fun is this a portal reference 50 oh i'm so close this for folks who are familiar with portal isn't this the, the cube from Portal? It looks kind of like it. It is, right? Oh, thank you so much, Egg. I appreciate it. <laughs> so happy to see you stopping by. Oh my god, and these little moth outfits. Moth appreciation pack. So see, this is where, if you wanted to, after playing the game, again, it's free, you were like, hey, I did want to support the team financially. I have the funds. Again, it's only if you're able to and you're comfy. You can buy cosmetics. Uh, so I think that's a really cool option. And I love when games do that, where it's like the content itself is all uh, accessible to you and really just becomes a matter of, sort of aesthetics. Um, and here's also the hair salon if you wanted to get some hair shift in. <gasps> Doran! Yeah, PC companion cube for Steam players only. Oh, see, so y'all, if you can play on Steam, that's the time. I know, I love mods. Uh, I think they added it recently. Roth, wait, you play too? Y'all, how come I didn't know you all were Sky fans? Okay, so this is one thing. Oh, hold on. Let me light these. Oh, I don't have to light them. This is where I got pointed when I opened the game today it said that there was an event called the nesting event and how am I gonna get it's free Indian former <laughs> it's it see it's like it's free so you should just like you know dive in with it. 
Um, <laughs> this is really fancy compared to the alcoves in the island. It makes me wish also, yes, for the Karkala hype. I love Karkala's emotes so much. Um, I wish I had played it earlier on, but what I really appreciate is I think unlike some other MMOs where I've felt very like, ah, oh, I think I've missed it and I can't start it anymore. Uh, I don't feel like that with this game. Um, not simply because they just launched on PC, but because again, as we go through the story, it does have a cyclical nature. And while there are seasonal events, the narrative isn't so big that like, like Final Fantasy, for example, where you're like, oh, here are, here's the base game and like seven DLC that you have to go through. Say goodbye to your life. <laughs> um, so I appreciate that about this game. So the main thing that we're going to do is we're just going to search the game for spirits that need to be freed. And you just hold up a little candle like so. And you say, let me help you. And I think this is a special spirit for the event happening right now that started today. Everyone should dive in and explore the I agree. I really agree. Bad, but so wholesome influence. <laughs> I'm so good, I'm bad. <laughs> uh, am I playing it right now on Steam Deck? Yeah, how is it feeling on the Steam Deck, Dunk? That's honestly, I'm probably gonna play the most on Steam Deck. I would imagine. So good. Oh, that's really good to hear. It's so stylized, too. I like that it's not hyper realistic. It's got this like really nice dreamy vibe to it. So what I appreciate is it doesn't feel like it'll get aged out, you know, in a few years. Yeah, Sky on the Steam Deck sounds like the move. Honestly, I agree. And look, see, what we can see here is all of these buddies who are also, they're talking. <laughs> and um, I don't see it because I'm not friend. Look, they're holding hands. <gasps> uh, but if I wanted to get involved in their conversation, I could probably like extend a candle and see if I'm their friend. But we're going to let them go because I want to nest. Dave, hey, good to see you. Very cool art style, right? It's beautiful. Also, I love my cape and my little sprout leaf hair. Okay, so we're gonna unlock this first level. I'm really excited to begin my little nest. I'm, I love decorating in games. I love making places my own. <laughs> making things cozy. Like, look at that. So I appreciate this game understands that fashion and furniture are really the end games. Also, how's your day going, Dave? I hope it's good. It's your turn to help decorate. <gasps> oh, snap. Choose which rug to add to the display. <gasps> oh, okay. I do like the that there's a little bit more color in this one. It's like a little bit more vibrant, but this is a fun shape, so I'm gonna pick this one. Also, do I get this heart pillow? Ooh, choose which seating to add. <gasps> oh, excuse me, this lush couch, thank you. At home and relaxing now, I hope you're... It's been really good. Well, okay, I will admit. Today was a bit, it was good in the end, but a bit rough of a start. Um, okay, just because the one next door has the same plant, I'm actually gonna pick this tinier one. So over uh, <laughs> today, most of the day was spent working slash on hold with the IRS because um, they took out my tax payment twice instead of just the one time that I wanted. I just want to pay taxes once. They took out double. So um, most of my day was spent on hold waiting for someone to answer and help me. Fortunately, I did end up getting it sorted out, but oh, 
that was not a big statement I wanted to wake up to. So playing this game has is I've been looking forward to playing this game. Let's just say that. <laughs> just, it was so frustrating. Yeah, happy tax day to the zero people who celebrate. <laughs> okay. A new outfit for your character. Unlock for free. I guess. Choose a place for the stool to complete the display. <gasps> Serapis, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. We're currently playing that game company's Sky Children of the Light. It is so good. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at our little cozy. Oh. Ooh. I love this. And so it's a free cozy MMO if you enjoy it. You can also play it quite solo if you do want to just play on your own. I will say, don't let the fact that it's an MMO feel intimidating to you. Um, I've largely played by myself. Today's the first day that I've streamed it and kind of opened it up to anyone who maybe wants to join in. They can feel free. Um, this game is relaxing. Yeah, it is. Is it Tristero? Um, I've really enjoyed my time with it so far. It's... I feel very much like, um, like, oh, squirrel! Because <laughs> there's so much here to sort of explore and do. Oh, yeah, let's light this candle. So what we can do... Hi! I can't... I don't have, like, a wave, but I, I do have this kiss. Yay! <laughs> the person's not paying attention, but I blew them a kiss anyway. Um... Yeah, I feel like there's so much to do and see. And the game might not initially feel that way. I think they intentionally do make it feel um, a little bit emptier, a little bit like you have kind of um, a lot of room to grow, I guess. They give you a lot of room to grow in this game. Because when I started, I was like, I don't know if there's going to be enough here for me to like have a ton to play and a ton to like be super engaged with. The more you play, the more things unlock. Um, almost Metroidvania style almost, where it feels like then you start being able to fly higher and you see little tunnels and doors that you weren't able to access before. Or you meet new friends. Hi, Sky Pal! <laughs> and then all of a sudden you have more friends, you have more emotes, and the game just like really expands. So let's maybe go out on a journey I don't know if maybe I should let's follow Sky Pal. I don't know if Sky Pal has anything they want to show off um, while they're here because boop boop. Oh, I wonder. There was a hand holding. I wonder if we can like hold hands, but then I'm the one that has to like lead it. I'll wait. <laughs> Sky Pal's leaving me hanging. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Sky Pal, show me a magical place. I feel like. Sky Pal is like, I can show you the world. <gasps> yes. Oh, wait. Oh, did I? Hold on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> can we hold hands? <laughs> do, do, do. Um, I think we got it. Oh. <gasps> And this is the beauty of Sky. <laughs> it does. It encourages really positive interactions. I've not yet had a single negative interaction, like knock on wood. Um, I feel like by having really positive emotes, by having um, a lot of these safeguards, you know, like no automatic voice chat, you opt in. <gasps> Sleepy. <laughs> so cute. Um, the way that you can opt in to interactions and you can very quickly opt out. Um, like I kind of tapped on F, which is why my hand dropped very quickly. Uh, it allows for you to really make sure that your experience is what you want it to be. What I really appreciate too is there's this level of like trust, I feel like. Um, Oh, I, I need a... Oh, I can get in because I have my friend. <gasps> um, there's this level of trust and like being willing to let your experience be guided by someone else, I think is something that 
I felt very, like, unsure about at first. <gasps> no way, is that Le Petit Prince? Oh my god! This is like the little prince. No way. And is that like a journey character? Oh my gosh. Collab season area. <gasps> what? Wait, the vault, Maz, tell me more. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Okay, so let me... Should I press F? Oh wait, let me sit. Let's meditate and look at the petite prompts. Oh my gosh, this is magical. Oh, are we going to hold hands again? <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. Star. <gasps> the desert. Oh my gosh. If we're going to get more like Petite Prince references in this, I will cry because that's like one of my favorite stories. <gasps> oh my God. Also, I love that we can just hear everyone beeping at each other, but not like expletive beeps. Just cozy, good beeps. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, the desert level in Journey was my absolute favorite part too. The one where you're just like surfing through the sand. Or was it the desert part where you're like just the first level in the desert? Honestly, all of Journey was my favorite part. It was so good. Darkness has fallen upon the Oh my gosh. The surfing part, truly magical. Yeah, I was saying earlier, and again, I'll repeat it because uh, I, I want to reemphasize that the stream is sponsored by that game company. I like got so excited. I think it's the most excited I've ever been uh, to work with any company because Journey is a huge part of why I play games why I got into the industry. Uh, so this was like such an honor for me. Oh my gosh. <gasps> also, look at this room. It's like, what if we just took a nap? What if we just took a nap here? I must leave you here, but it's so pretty. A good place for a tea party. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I, you know what? This person has the right idea. Oh, thank you. Hold on, wait. Where's my... Yay! I appreciate you! <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Let's... Let, whoop! Tea party. <laughs> On the ceiling. Let's, let's have a quick little tea party. I can also blow some bubbles, too. <laughs> just so cute. But ta da See, we can just chill here. To Otter Fox says, if you tame me, then we shall need each other. Oh. You're going to get me choked up, <laughs> honestly. To me, you'll be unique in all the world. To you, I shall be unique in all the world. The Fox. Ugh, this is reminding me. I should have brought in that quote for when we played one shot. Because that whole discussion of taming is so relevant. Oh, yeah, Journey... Honestly, I haven't replayed Journey in a long, long time. I should probably, I should probably take a moment and replay that maybe in the next week or so. Maybe we'll play it next week on Monday. Monday can be our dedicated That Game Company day and we can just like <laughs> enjoy everything That Game Company makes. Um, we can eat our eternal glowy macaroons. Um... But yeah, this, the fact that they have this hidden magical place 
that someone else, like literally there is a person next to me just saying, I just wanted to nap in this beautiful world. Someone has the game open and is just napping and I'm eating snacks next to them. I hope I'm not ruining their sleep with my chomping, but I'll try to chew, you know, quietly. Uh, <laughs> it's so cute. Sandwichy, welcome in. You can play the Little Prince season post Eden and there are great Little Prince quotes and references. <gasps> This is amazing. Whoops. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Now, what I did is I have gone through. So in this game, I mentioned its cyclical nature. Um, it is very similar if you are familiar with the journey with this idea of. Um, oh, what's here? What is this? Oh, I see. Um, I want to light this up because I think this is where you can see the maps. Um, in this game, there is also a cycle, and so that's how you can continue to play, and so I did one cycle, and it had me wrecked, and I'm excited to do the next one, so I'll be starting the next cycle so you can see what it's like basically from the beginning. The rose. Oh. I didn't! Oh my gosh, Sandwichy, I am so sorry I missed it in the hubbub of everything. Um, if... Someone, if one of the mods could give a refund for the band word at least, um, since I didn't see it and I can hydrate now, definitely stretch, take a moment. Um, this is beautiful. I kind of actually want to screenshot that really fast. Okay. Definitely want to hydrate. Y'all are starting to make me get choked up even with, um, <laughs> Even with just the reference to the little prince, I'm like, oh, my heart. <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh. Instead of just the light fueling my cloak, it also, I can bloom flowers. Oh, stop. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, hold on. I wanted to show you. Thank you so much, Med. Okay. I wanted to show this as well. So across the the map, what I love is there are these little boats and you can you can contribute your own and folks will put in just like kind words, really moving quotes, their own thoughts, things they want to share in these boats. And this one says, after all, one cannot ignore the voice that says there is a better place beyond the stars. Oh my gosh, let's... I don't know what it necessarily does, the thumbs upping, but I always like to leave a little something. Um, sayonara, ducky lifeta. If there are goodbyes, there are also encounters, but it's not always possible to see the person who flew through the sky holding your hand today, even from tomorrow. Let's cherish it. <laughs> I don't know. I think there are. Precious few games, I feel like, really evoke this sense of sort of community and beauty. And I feel like this is one that definitely does. Um, Kind Words is another one, I think, that does something similar where I feel like it almost goes past just game and sort of turns into something else with how emotional it makes me. <laughs> Yeah, kind words is so lovely. Okay. Now, I don't know what would be... Could we get up there? I don't know if I have the cloak power for that. I wonder if these birds will come for... Oh! It's so nice. Okay, let's see if I can get over here. I might have to cloud bounce. <laughs> but we're gonna see if it's possible. Cause I think, I think there's something up there that I could investigate further. Whoa. My space bar also, I've noticed, I never noticed my space bar being sticky until I played this game. <laughs> Cause the space bar is the one that you use <laughs> to fly. 
and uh, use your cloak. Intelligame, welcome in! We're just kind of vibing right now <laughs> in the secret area that was shown to me by one of the That Game Company devs. Let's see, can I get up to there? Oh, I can, I can, I can, I can! <gasps> Whoa, what is this? Oh my gosh. This feels very Lord of the Rings to me. What? It's so good. It came out on PC. Um, it came out on PC just last week. Oh my goodness. Follow the spirit to relive its memories before its light fades out. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got to go on a timer here. So there's this king with a bird. Sent a couple of birds maybe out on a message. So maybe... Yelling at the birds? No, what are you doing, sir? <laughs> okay, perhaps waiting for responses. Continuously waiting for responses. And see, what I love is that the stories are kind of abstract. You don't all, like, I don't always necessarily understand what they're saying but you can kind of get these feelings from them and then at the end once you've followed the memories of that spirit you can sort of free them from this light that has trapped them oh man have you played sky wallstormer there's um i will say the end of a cycle in sky there's a moment i was saying earlier about how This is so good. <laughs> hold on, let's hold that thought. I want to watch this. This king looks like a chess piece. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, no, this is the king from the... <gasps> you know they can't move, right? I'm entitled to command their obedience. My orders are reasonable. From now on, stay where you are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> grown-ups are so strange. Oh, this is making me want to reread The Little Prince again. I got a copy of it when I was in France for TwitchCon the other year. It was so good. Um... I played a little of Sky at launch, but I never got very far. I really should hop back into it. You should. You absolutely should. I, I've i only just gotten into it really now because it's on PC and that is my comfort place to play games. Oh my goodness. Nintendo. Oh my gosh. It's Min for the win raiding in. Y'all drop some snacks for the raiders. The wonderful Nintendo is here. <gasps> Holy moly, that is so kind of you to raid. Uh, if y'all have the snacks emote, do share them with our dear friends at Nintendo. Um, thank you for the follow. Is it NACLH2? Oh, wow, there's a little bit of chemistry happening here. Vaughn, thank you for the follow. Bailey, it's good to see you here as well. Oh my gosh, thank you. You have such cute emotes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the goober is so cute. I want to use that everywhere. Oh my gosh. Britt Berry, thank you so much. Rating, oh my goodness. Um, really happy to see you all here. Kim, a fellow Kim. Hello. Uh, wow, you all are so wonderful. So if y'all aren't following Nintendo, I had the absolute pleasure of meeting Min at PAX East as well. Um, you should go drop her a follow if you like specific, specifically like cozy, wholesome games. Absolutely wonderful human being. Um, I'm really excited to hopefully see Min at an event again someday. And um, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Kim Chika. I am a game developer as well as a content creator. Um, most of my work is with... Um, well, you may know me probably through the Wholesome Direct. I'm one of the organizers as well as the main host, but I also do work on other games like Spirit Swap, Lo-Fi Beats to Match 3-2, uh, Garden Story. I've worked on, um, yeah, just a bevy of games. So really happy to have you here. 
like a cafe. Uh, the stream is a place for you to enjoy just the atmosphere. So if you want to lurk, we are playing Sky today. This is sponsored today by that game company who's here in the chat. Wonderful folks. Um, and if you want to chat, this is also a place I really love to have conversations about games, specifically about the themes, how they make me feel, how they help me learn about myself. And I hope to, in these conversations, help you learn a little bit about yourself as well and connect the games we play to just the our lives, because uh, that's how games are important to me. And I think it's really important to talk about. So thank you. Um, and Prim, Supernova, and Pink Princess, it's really good to have you all here following as well. Yes, please feel free to lurk, Nintendo. Um, I know especially after a stream, it's time to decompress, so no pressure at all. Um, yeah, I love the demo for Sp oh, Thank you so much, Bailey. We're... We're working on it. We're still going. Yeah, I'm super excited for spirit swap things. Um, yeah, what do I work on in games? I work on a bevy of areas and things. Um, my primary focus is usually like community management and also influencer relations and strategy. So a lot of what I do is work with content creators. Um, I also work with community members. Uh, so a lot of that side, like the marketing side of game development, but with Spirit Swap in particular, I am the producer. And because it's an indie game, it's kind of like whatever, whatever needs to get done. Um, I try my best to help and do it. Um, I will tell you I'm abysmal at code. I do not. That is not my strength. Um, I have dabbled enough to know that I, I don't know a lot. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm not, uh, an artiste. I don't necessarily create art myself, but, uh, I really enjoy specifically helping guide teams and helping, um, really make sure and shape the direction of games. So that's why production for Soft Not Weak is my main role for the game we have that we're working on. Hello, hello. So fun. I love the character design. <laughs> That means a lot. The characters are definitely a labor of love. Um, they're, that means a lot to hear. Hey, Optimus Prime. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow and Britt Berry again. Um, you do, <laughs> no, I don't do everything, but I do, I do like to dabble in a lot. I feel like I'm very much the, um, what you called, uh, I enjoy, I enjoy having a lot of areas of expertise or areas where I'm very good. I don't actually like to specialize in things. Um, okay, we're gonna go <laughs> slide up this hill. I realize because some people are like, I really want to focus on one thing only and be the best person for that one thing. Ooh, what is that over there? What is that over there? I'm like, which cave did I come from? I'm not sure. Let's go to this one. Um, I think there's power in specializing, but I feel like I am just not that person. Um, and I used to feel really sad about it, but now I've kind of accepted it. And I'm like, no, I think that's a good thing. You need all sorts of people, some who specialize and some who like to do a little bit of everything. Um, and then, hey, I thank you for the well or for the follow. Love is needed. Love is needed in games. Um, all right, let's see. The rose. Oh. Wait, the rose is a spirit here. Find the friend of the rose here in the starlit desert. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is like a side quest I didn't even know we were gonna do and get into, but we're here and we're doing it. I was like, let's just go through the main game. Oh my gosh, this, this ship, like your cape, it's the prince, it's quite beautiful, oh my god, <gasps> I'm gonna be friends with the little prince. not far oh. thank you that game company this is so good you've taken me on this journey no pun intended um 
that I did not expect at all for today. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Heya, as well. It's good to have you here, and we'll see you hopefully next time. Can you hear them? Visionary. I don't know if I would say visionary. I think um, I really enjoy... I guess I try to be the vision holder for whatever groups I'm a part of. Um, follow me. Okay. Sorry, someone was napping here and I was like... <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh. Can't catch me? No way! Yes, we can! Actually, no. Running was never my strong suit. <laughs> It's true, I can't catch you, little prince. No, it is, Fairy. This is actually the collaboration that they did with the little prince. Again, when I... When I said, I was like, that game company is great. I love Journey, I love Sky. I expected it to end there. I didn't anticipate uh, that we would get to see the, a previous season where they collaborated with one of my favorite books ever. Let's play a game. Close your eyes. Should I actually close my eyes? Count to five. Ah, oh, they're gonna make me actually not look. <laughs> Find the little prince. Oh my gosh, we're playing hide and seek. Dang it, I used my flight. I don't have enough cape. All right, if you all see the little prince, Y yell at me. <laughs> Prince! Okay, let me... I can recharge at this... Um, these flowers here. That'll give me a little bit of a vantage point. Yes. So if we stand by the flowers, see in the top... top oops, that side. Uh, our cape recharges. I don't see the prince anywhere. What the heck? I see my tea tea party set. Would the prince be at the tea party? Hmm. I was never very good at hide and seek. <laughs> Actually, in real life, I'm not very good at hide and seek. <gasps> Let's go up to the gazebo. Maybe the prince is already up. If I was the prince, I would just sit at the gazebo eating tea and crumpets, just waiting for the person to come for me. No, no one's here. <gasps> okay, let's wait for our thing to recharge. I'll do a slow scan. Let's see. there someone else calling? Maybe not. I wonder if maybe I go over here and I do the big call with the birds. Okay, so the birds did call. Oh man, this prince. Oh, there! I see, I see, I see the prince. Oh my goodness. I think. If that's not the prince, then... I'll be embarrassed. Aha! <laughs> I found you! <laughs> we did it! Oh my gosh. Not me about to go to the Cloud Kingdom. <laughs> I'm not that good, am I? Let me try again. No, that was so good, though! <laughs> that was too good. I'm not good at this. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Nintendo Gamer. Welcome in. We're playing hide and seek with the little prince. And I'm learning that, um... <laughs> this is one game that I'm not... Not the best at. <laughs> I remember once when I was playing hide and go seek, I went and hid in like a bathroom stall and, that, and no one found me. And I was just like, I, I can't play this game anymore. <laughs> I don't like it. 
Oh, late from Min Raid. Welcome in. Any friend of Min is a friend of mine. It's good to see you. <laughs> Let's play once more. Okay. We're doing it. It's time. <gasps> what? Wildstar, well, thank you for the resub. Oh my gosh, 72 months. We had a 53 month resub, a 72. Holy mackerel. Thank you so much. Also, again, if you're not following Wallstormer at Intelligame, missing out on awesome discussion, awesome just games being played, um, lots of narrative focus, and lots of really thoughtful discussion. Really can't go wrong with a Wallstormer stream. There we go. Third time is the charm. 72, right? You are good at this. Thank you. <laughs> I've learned a new strength. Apparently hide and seek is, is decent for me. This is a curious kingdom. I wonder if there are grown-ups here. I must keep exploring. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. So interesting. So I guess for seasons in this game, it looks like they had this kind of one-off area. Once upon a time, there was a little prince who lived on a planet hardly bigger than he was and who needed a friend. Return to the Rose at the Starlight Desert. <gasps> oh my god. So beautiful. I think also there's a current collaboration going on um, with, uh, what you call it? Oh, look, someone's using my tea set. Uh, there's a current collaboration between, I think it's Sanrio and Sky. I think, what is it, Cinnamon Roll? Is that the name of the, the bunny? Um, it's like Cinnabon or Cinnamon Roll. <laughs> I think there's a collaboration currently going on with that character, which is really cool. Ooh, look at those lights in the distance, too. Okay. I know the rose is a nice little trek up this way. Oh, someone's over there. But I think the rose is cinema roll. Yeah, hey, Lingui, it's good to see you. Oh, I love that when you get into any sort of sloping downhill, there's an automatic surfing on the sand that feels so nice. And again, we're in this sort of magical side area, but this isn't even the main game. This is just like a fun side quest moment. You fulfill the wish of this ancestor spirit. On days like these. Oh, it's the planet with the rose. I think fondly back. My friend who explores the skies. The kindness he shared tending to me. And so I await his return. Oh, is this the rose awaiting re the return of the prince who's off exploring? Oh my gosh. My heart. And so as you interact with each spirit and get to know it and its story a little bit more, uh, you can use candles to unlock hearts and hearts can be used to purchase like other cosmetics or things. Um, and then as you unlock these levels, locate the friend of the rose who scouts the enchanting caves in the hidden forest. Ooh, okay, so now I have to go to another area. Interesting. Um, and as you increase the levels, you also can increase like the different emotes, additional cosmetics, all that fun stuff. Okay. So, now I wanna actually see 
I wonder what's a quick way to... I think this way is the way we want to go. Um, to go back home. There's probably, like, actually there's a fast... We can just click home. We can now use the return trine to go back here, which is really nice. I love The Little Prince. It was a really... It was a really good TV show. Yeah, I never saw the show. Um, I have the book. I read and I've reread it over the years. Um, it's been a long time since I last read it. Like maybe probably two years since I last read it. So it's like under construction. Interesting. Okay. So let's see. I want to start at the beginning. So each of these areas, Isle of Dawn... You have the Daylight Prairie, Hidden Forest. All of these areas are different biomes, but when I played, it felt a little bit like we were going through stages, not just of a day, but almost of life. Like, Journey was all about the hero's journey, and I feel like this was maybe more about this more personal, like, life cycle journey. And the end is this big door, which looks very ominous. Um, but we'll start here at the Isle of Dawn. We'll ease, ease our way into it, you know? Um, words are hard. <laughs> you know what? It's Monday. We're easing into the week. Today, I learned that heroes have journey. Yes. Hey, Hinton. <laughs> Wait, was this a cutscene? This might be different. music. Also, let me know if it's a bit too loud. It's so good, I don't want you to miss it, you know? Did you play this on your phone previously, or is this your first Sky Children experience? I started it on my phone, but I did not finish it. Um, I, admittedly, this tiny screen and just, like, using the screen itself for controls... <laughs> that person just face plant. <laughs> That's cute. Um, the tiny controls didn't really suit me. But um, playing it on PC, having it on a bigger screen, it just feels a lot better. So I've been actually able to like delve into it more than I ever did on the phone. But this game holds a lot of a lot to explore. Um, I felt like I did a decent job, and at the end of every stage, it was like, <laughs> you only discovered one of eight spirits. And I was like, ah, what? Okay, so we're going to go through and we're going to try. Please, get on the Switch too. Oh, I keep forgetting that it's also on the Switch. Okay, so see that glowy person right there? We're going to stop and say hello. Because every time you find one of these glowy figures, you strengthen your wings. And so you can see here, get a little, it's kind of like experience, I guess. Um, and I need to find two more to reach the next level. Hey, Serial, welcome in. I want phone games so much, but also trailed off because phone small. Yeah, I will admit it helped to have the, uh, I have a backbone controller. And I felt like if you're okay with a small screen and you just didn't want your hand to be kind of all over it, uh, the backbone is a really good alternative. But I was, I'm kind of like exactly what you said. The screen was just too small and I wanted this on a bigger screen. I wanted it with headphones and speakers that were like able to just signify and represent the beauty of this game even better than my phone could. So this is another, these are map stones. And so you can use them to see where you are on the journey itself. So we're right here. Um, and it looks like, are these my friends? Are these people I know? I only see two. I think maybe some people I've befriended before are maybe here. I don't know. I'm still so new to this game. So if anyone who plays knows, let me know. Um... I've been doing iPad and Xbox controller and very much vibe that. Yeah, it's so like I'm such a controller fiend. Um, I'm playing this with keyboard mouse today. Uh, but usually I'm a controller person. 
I just learned the controls on this with keyboard and mouse, and so I kind of want to keep it consistent. Do do do. The blue people are spirits. Oh, okay. Thank you, Stolen Stars. Kitter cats, good to see you. Okay, so those are spirits. All right, so then. That's really good to know. So like, for example, this is a spirit that I've actually freed in a previous loop. And so you'll see they look a little bit different. And if I click F, it'll say relive the spirit memory. So I know, okay, well, I've done this one before. Um, I don't want to relive it. <laughs> it's a good one, but I don't want to do it again. Kitter Cat, how are you doing? And Stolen Stars as well. Thank you for that. Because, um, yeah, I wasn't quite sure. I've never seen... I'm still getting used to some of the UI and UX of the game. I feel like one of the things that has always eluded me, and I'm trying to be a bit better about it, <laughs> is when you're playing these type of games, I think a lot of it is focused. Oh, and Nor, thank you for the follow. Uh, sorry, I didn't catch that earlier, I don't think. Um, a lot of this, <laughs> um, relies on you either doing the Googling to look up stuff, <laughs> or it relies on you um, being part of the community and asking people. <laughs> so I, I'm trying to be better about asking and learning. <laughs> I will say, I think last time I came here, it said that I hadn't found all the spirits in this area. Um, there are only two that I think I've been able to find. Okay, soundtrack. <laughs> Was it too loud? Uh, let me know if it was a bit too loud. Uh, I think I remember this area. Yes, it does. Oh, yeah, that does look like it's speaking a little bit. Let's turn down just a hair. Okay, so we have this desert area. I feel like I'm in there. <laughs> it's around now. Restore the altar's light to awaken this temple's elder. I like how I have these buddies with me on the pilgrimage. Hey, Cater! Oh my gosh, the music is so good in this game. I'm new at it, but really loving it. <gasps> yes! Let me know. I'll put my friend code in Discord um, so we can all add each other and, you know, just like give each other hearts, help guide one another if you ever want a buddy to just fly with. Um... So again, we're wakening the elders in each of the temples to help save this world. Yeah, that would be great. Oh, it's so pretty. Restore the altar's light to awaken the elders. I think in terms of theme and music especially, this is very Ghibli al aligned to me. Even though it doesn't look necessarily like a Ghibli game. Restore the altar's light to awaken this elder's temple. Okay. This te temple's elder. So you can see I've, I've unlocked the constellations. I've gone through a loop once. But I've only s discovered one of three spirits. I'm like, it was a blank desert. Where were the spirits? <laughs> oh. I love the Isle Elders cutscene. It's such a good start to the game. It's so good. This is my second time seeing it. And my second time playing through... 
so I'm going to be really curious to see um, what I pick up on the second time through. Journey on to the next realm. The remaining elders are waiting for you to wake them up. Wake up. Grab a push and a little make. Oh, okay. Can we just like appreciate this beauty? Yeah, it's like if Ghibli had Western visions of heaven. Yeah, I actually don't know if those are the words to the song. <laughs> That's just what I've always said. Oh, hey, Fuzz. Yes, Ian, we're back. Welcome. We're playing Sky right now, and it's just stunning. That company, that game company, uh, sponsored this opportunity for me to play, and I jumped at the chance because I freaking love everything that game company does. This is the beginning of the game, y'all. This isn't even the end. <laughs> it's wild because I feel like in any other game, you'd be like, this is the finale. Beautiful. Oh, you're ascending into the clouds. That game company is like, hold my phone. This is just the first area. This is the title screen. Thank you. <laughs> Which game company? That game company. <sighs> if there's one thing that that game company has done an incredible job of, it's understanding and like conveying flight and Oh, just look at that. They did it particularly well, I feel like, with Flower. And you can see a little bit of, like, Flower's DNA, especially in the way some of the, the birds and the patterns of flight that they have. Um, Flower was a game about how you were essentially a gust of wind, if I'm remembering correctly, and you are guiding petals of flowers to bring light back and color back to this beautiful world that has been industrialized. And I think from like flower journey, which also has a lot of emphasis on gliding and soaring and flight in a lot of ways, they just, they just have it down. They understand what it feels like to just make flying feel good, you know? Sky fi I think Flower and Journey are still on sale. I took the opportunity to grab them both after playing Sky for a bit. Yes. Yeah, I think I know Journey for sure is on a daily deal right now uh, on Steam. If you haven't played it, if you have not played Journey, play it. Um, And you can <gasps> look at the colors. Look at all of our friends. Um. What's really nice is Sky is free, so you can play Sky for free, pick up Journey, um, light candles with friends. Ooh, let's see what people wrote. I want to comp the archives in Rainforest. If you don't mind, please give me a heart. I don't know how to give hearts, but <laughs> I'll give you a thumbs up. <laughs> Yeah, Journey is just so amazing. Oh, but that brings me back to what I was going to say. I think this was just kind of an intermediary point. I don't think there are spirits here, but actually, let me just make sure. Um, I was saying earlier... Oh, this is a previous spirit that I made friends with. Okay, let's see. I do want to... I have a bunch of candles. Let me just... And hearts. Let me just get this because I really like this hair. Um, let's, let's unlock the next friendship tier as well. Um, what I think Journey does really well is it takes you on this very personal journey um, that's about just kind of it's, it's the traditional hero's hero's journey. What I think this game does even better is show how community is needed to solve problems. Um, you really see this at the end of the game or end of the cycle where you really can't achieve much without taking care of yourself and without other people. Like you can get further if other people are with you. 
Um, and I think this game shows the power of community and of taking care of yourself and taking care of others to save the world in a way that very few games have. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> I think the next major area is the Hidden Woods, if I'm remembering correctly. And then that's where we're going to hopefully discover some more spirits, because that's where I only discovered, like, a couple. Like, one or two, and the game was like, you have eight more to find. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. This is, and this is what I appreciate the most. This is... A game that allows you to just vibe. It's not too stressful. Oh my gosh. But there are stakes. Like, you're looking in the distance. That is ominous. Right? Look at that. This beautiful world is literally in the shadow of this really ominous lightning-filled storm and beam. <laughs> and so, really, it's about taking your time to get to the end, but knowing that there is sort of an urgency for you to get there at some point. Right? The grass is so cute. The flowers, too. I love how they literally are just like, let's just put circles. Circles and like little cylinders, and these are <laughs> these are the grass and flowers, and it's perfection. It's actual, it's just so good. So see, this is what I mean, where there's like that constellation I can only access this light upgrade, essentially, because of that constellation having been achieved once. So now I can level up my wings. Yes. Oh. Find five more to reach the next level. <laughs> Thanks for that clip, Ball Stormer. So I think this one I don't have enough. Let me double check just to make sure. So when you walk up to this area, you see there's like this little force fieldy vibe. I walked to it ah, three out of four. So I need to go to the area of this constellation, find one more ah, before I can explore that facet of this world. But I see someone up on top of that thing and I can definitely go there. Boop. Oh my gosh, here we go. And I think this is a spirit I've already unlocked before. Oh no, I haven't. Oh, oh snap. Where did you go? Okay, over here. Let's see. Oh. I see all these purple lights. Okay. Oh. So I need to, I think, find all of the spirits before the time goes out, is what it said. And you can see all the dots. Oh my gosh, they're so far. <gasps> oh. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of flight. There's, oh, there we go, there we go. It's just, this spirit is just all about l just enjoying the flowers in the fields. I love this. Aw, Pickleus. <laughs> Pickleus Cage, welcome in. It's good to see you. Very good name. Oh, there's one more. All the way across the field. Oh my gosh, Groovy. People can help you do spirits too. Yes, I had that happen the first time I played, actually. It was really cool. There was just this random person who came up to me and was just like, hold my hand. I can help you find spirits. And I was like, okay. And it was great. They just like took me around for a little bit. Um, I appreciate that it's like for the days you really want to be guided, you can have that. And for the days you don't mind just vibing and wandering around a little bit aimlessly, you can also cater that. Little Mix Honey, hey, oh my gosh. Welcome in. If you have not seen Honey's TikToks, you have not seen Honey's streams. Go check them out. So good. Uh, just re like, I think what I admire most about Honey is just 
how they're able to kind of do everything <laughs> like and talk on anything it's just really cool i admire that very much um and i've been actually wanting to channel a bit more of that in my own life um so yeah go follow honey the sky community is so sweet and helpful yeah i have truly been astounded by the kindness of the sky community just i have not encountered that <laughs> I have um in my in my TikTok about Sky I said like the thing that stops me from playing games that involve people <laughs> online um to probably nobody's surprise oh my gosh I want that bow I want that bow so much oh my god um but I've just not had the most pleasant experiences online yay <laughs> the confetti. I've been wanting this emote for so long. Um, and I think, the, I mean, the game design of Sky lends itself to not a, affording a lot of space for people to be bad actors. But even for folks, like, folks can get creative. Folks will do what they need to if they want to truly troll. But I have not encountered that, which is amazing. <laughs> Groovy says we love new Sky players. It's... Oh, it's been so nice, honestly, to play this game and feel welcomed by the community, too. I think what some some game communities can forget, I feel, uh, is that new players are what keep the game energized and keep the game going and alive in a lot of ways. And so it's important to welcome new players into your community in any industry really in any facet of hobbies that you participate in new people bring in new ideas and just excitement um and it's nice to be a part of this community and like join it and feel like i am welcomed <laughs> um the tcg staff are so proactive to keeping the sky game safe that's what we love to hear and that's the thing it's the proactivity right it's not that they're reacting like it's important to react I think we can't lose the importance of being able to be quick to react and have a process there. But the fact that they're being proactive is huge. Oh, oh the wing light to look behind me. Oh, yes. Hello, Dave. Welcome in. Um, the wing light too. Oh, what was the button? Is it? I feel like that's the button that tells me what to look for. Request a guide player. No, I don't want to do that yet. I just want to vibe. Ooh, like what's that? The last thing, that's okay. I won't worry too much about going back through. Oh, do I have enough to get up this way? Eee! Dang it, I should have gotten that wing light. Well, hold on. I think there's enough, there's plenty of wings for me to pick up here. So let me do a little bit more exploring. I do know there's a door here that can only be opened up by two people. Thank you for the follow, Dave. Welcome in. We all work together to clean up this little thing. The What we were doing was cleaning up the, um, what you call it, the blight together. Hey, Pharaoh. Is this an emote? Yeah, this is like, I would call this perhaps one of the few truly cozy MMOs, um, truly wholesome <laughs> in the sense of like the mechanics and as well as the narrative themes all point towards um, a very specific, intentionally kind way of playing. Here we go. Yes. Um, oh, you're on the same bit as me. Are we in the same server? <laughs> I think it's a bit more, it's probably random, A, eh? and probably based on location, so probably not, but, um, okay, I think I've gotten this spirit already. <gasps> Nano, welcome! It's good to be back! <laughs> okay, so I think this may be a door that I need another person to open, perhaps. A little help? <laughs> yep, I think this is probably one. 
Yeah, it was, I, I did take a break. It was intentional just to have a hiatus. Um, Cause yeah, a lot of work, a lot of life stuff. Um, okay, nothing over here. But I'm happy to be back. Um, I'm excited. Still a lot of work, a lot of life stuff. But um, it's calmed down enough that I feel like I can stream and feel like that I'm not... Oh, everyone else... <laughs> everyone else in the level was actually doing what we were supposed to. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, at, I'm back streaming again, which is great. Uh, and posting on TikTok and all of the places. <gasps> hey, Ellie! It's good to see you! How are you doing? I have been through the big end gate, yes. Eden cried it was beautiful <laughs> um i don't know if we'll get there today but i'm sure we'll get there if not today probably um i don't know i imagine i'll play i want to finish out at least one cycle on stream so if not today probably later this week Woo. oh the rays are taking me <laughs> i think i didn't get the um there's one other spirit that's it's back there. But I also do just want to kind of vibe and show off this world. Oh, I know. I Pax went by way too fast. It truly did. Wow. Ooh, so much light. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Pax did go by too fast. Did you have a good time, though? Do, do, do. Okay. I feel like I was able to see a good chunk of people, and fortunately, I didn't have too many, too many meetings. Um, it wasn't like back to back, so I did have time. There we go. I did have time to enjoy myself and just relax, which is good. Okay, I didn't go, otherwise you would- Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang it. Oh. Were you just in the area then, and not just uh, at the show proper? Okay, I wonder... Doo -doo. The purple spirits are all the seasonal spirits you haven't seen yet. Okay. Am I missing- Are there purple spirits on this level? Am I missing that? <laughs> I feel like... Ooh, hold on. There's some red candles that I can light. Groovy, thank you for the follow. The this, this seasoned sky expert in chat. Okay, all these are already lit. So whenever you see red candles, if you're playing along... Because um, this took me a little bit second to get. You can light these candles and they give you essentially candle experience points. Um, so that you can later redeem those for um, cosmetics and things like that. There we go. Oh, is this the end of this area already? Dang, that went by so fast. Maybe I should go back. <gasps> Eddie, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Okay, well, hold on. Let me light these candles and then maybe I'm going to go back because I feel like I feel like this is the end of this area and I didn't really find any spirits. And I know, I know for sure that there are spirits that I need to get. Sorry, Elder, I'm not going to awaken you right now. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going the wrong direction. Oh, are you all? Oh, just taking a nap. They're okay. <laughs> I love seeing when folks are just like, ah, just resting up in between levels. Okay. So let's light these up. It'll be nice to get some experience too. I wonder if maybe... Let's see... Valley of Triumph, the mat, admire the sapling. I don't want to do that. I love when my sky character takes a nap. Me too. Oh, <gasps> whoa, hold up. There's a couple doors that I didn't see before. Coming back from the other side. Oh, snap. It's kind of incredible how big this world is 
when it again I initially played this and I was like ah this doesn't feel like it's got too much and then I play and the more I play and explore I'm like there's a lot here for me to really delve into I think my new favorite thing though is going around and just like putting my tea set down just having tea and seeing if anyone will join me <laughs> One thing that's handy is using the help emote with a friend. Your friend can see the spirits and wing lights that you have missed. Oh, that's handy. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Let's get rid of these little blighters. Okay. So we're going to activate that. So we can see that, again, the blight is those kind of crusty, like, almost, looks almost like shells. That have caked themselves on. Okay. Yeah, I guess, Groovy, do you know if there's any way that as a solo player you can perhaps find a, a hint of the spirits that you've missed? Or is it something that really is only available if you are buddying up with someone else? it I need more where's the where's my candle here we go <laughs> trying to get rid of this stuff I don't think it's absolutely necessary but it's nice to get the little candle experiences again There we go. Perfect. Okay, what else have I not spotted? So I think this area... Oh, oh, hold on. Is that a spirit that I have not... Or have I already unlocked this one? I think I have. No, I haven't. Oh my gosh, we did it. We found one. Heck yes. Pharaoh, welcome in. We did it! Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, the darkness gives a light that will forge into white candles and be used to buy in-game cosmetics. There's a spirit light. Blue and purple mean you have not done the spirits. Blue is for base spirits. Purple is for seasonal. Okay, that's good to know. I think that's the one thing that um, this game, again, it doesn't... Whoa. That's so cute! Bye! See you next time! That's a great little memory. Oh, I finally have the wave! Also, as a former, uh, like, dancer, I still dance, but I'm not, like, as, as dedicated as I once was. I appreciate that that character sprite had turned out feet uh, instead of turned in details. Hey, Torgaby. Hi, lurking and listening while I'm at work. Enjoy exploring Sky. I hope to meet you while I play. Oh, I hope to meet you too someday. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I've been enjoying it so much so far. I think what's really nice is, like, it's nice to be able to play and know that it's okay if I haven't discovered everything. And actually, you're not meant to unlock everything in a single go you're meant to do this cycle again and again. Um, so I really, I appreciate it. Again, it kind of helps combat a lot of what I feel self-conscious about with a lot of MMOs in general. Um, yeah. Not to mention again, the community has been so nice. <laughs> this game is like a game for word of mouth. Yeah. That's the thing, and yeah, I think we were saying earlier too, it's like this game benefits from communities, community members telling each other how things work and sh creating that shared sort of pool of knowledge, almost. Yeah, exploration is very important, but friends are really what this game is about. Okay. 
Now, I wonder, it seems like I would guess if I were also making this game, each of these altars has at least one spirit associated with it. I know I've gotten one. I have gotten two of the three, it seems like. One of them, I don't know if I can get because I haven't gotten a buddy. Boop, boop, boop. Let's see if I can get up on this lip right here. And I want this one. It's such a welcoming and nice escape. Yeah, don't worry about find not finding everything at once. There's always new things to experience and enjoy. Heck yes. Okay. So, let's see. I know I've gotten... Is that one? Hold on. That's a shiny, shiny thing over there. <laughs> and I feel like that's probably something I should look out for. Yeah, I've gotten at least two spirits here. <gasps> Auditor, hey, what's up? How are you? Oh, yeah, this is what I was looking for. Okay, but first, let me light this candle. I will say every time... Oh, too short. <laughs> let me just get up here. Every time I say light my candle, I think of Rent, <laughs> the musical. <sighs> I won't sing it because that that is an earworm of a song, but oof. I, I it's singing it in my head right now. I won't curse you all with that knowledge. <laughs> Got a light. Yeah. <laughs> no, dang it. You can't read it and not read it in the musical words. Um, I know the door was open. Yeah, I got very lucky. So here's someone in a shop. It's like the one who builds builds these ships. Ooh, let's get rid of that. Um, hey, Oktra, welcome in. No way, friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Light my candle is a song and rent. Um, and so every time I'm like, oh, I gotta light the candle, I think of that song, and it's just like in my head. Also, that is an epic hairdo. I want that. That's like cloud mohawk right there. That's so good. <laughs> oh, stretching. <laughs> Kerplop. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh, do I get a kerplop? Oh! <gasps> Big stretch emote. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay. Is that good? The spirit waits with an offering of gratitude at the Elder's Temple. Heck yes! Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, feel free to send a whisper code. Let's see. How are you liking this game? This is by the makers of Journey, right? Yes. And actually, let me really quickly, if you haven't yet downloaded it, it's free. So it's definitely worth hopping into the game. Um, the developers did sponsor this stream, so I am playing it, you know, because they reached out to me. But honestly, I probably I would have definitely played it regardless. Um, I probably wouldn't have streamed it. I would have been too nervous, but I'm kind of glad I am because, again, kind of like Groovy was saying, this game is... The more I play it, the more I realize it's meant to be played with other people. Um, you can get quite a bit out of it on your own, but... It's just, it's intentionally, I think, got a lot of layers to it that you need to just appreciate with folks. Right? This kind of, when they plop down, it's so good. Really fast. I think my partner just came home. Na 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 na. Okay. Um, let me get that whisper code and add it. Actually, hold on. I will add this later because I don't know if you want this shown on stream. And I actually, since I don't know the security um to add people, I I just want to be safe for for you as well. So I'll add you after the stream is done, Groovy, if that's okay. <laughs> um 
So I realized I'm like, I don't know if copy and pasting that code up uh, is maybe the widest, wisest thing to do. Okay, so let's fly back out. I want to get to the next area because I think the next area is my favorite if I'm remembering correctly. Okay. Eh, I want this manta ray. Eh, there we go. Wait, no, I thought I landed on you. Am I riding you? I don't know. I'm not! <laughs> Wait. <gasps> Come back, Manta Ray. I want to ride. <sighs> Just one of you. One of you. Be my friend, please. <sighs> Almost there. <laughs> if I dive down, will I have enough power to dive down onto it? I'm not sure. There we go. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think because you're supposed to like touch it. Oh, is it? It's going away. No. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yes. Nice. Okay, perfect. It's a one-time code? Okay. I'll know it's used since you're streaming. Okay. Um, a friend code is a one-time use. Okay, so it's not like people will see it and then they can just be like, I'm going to spam this person. Okay. Torg says, amazing. The devs reached out to you to sponsor the stream. It would be a dream for me. I really hope you enjoy your time in the realms. I'm loving it so far. Um, okay. Paste. Nickname, say Groovy, so I remember. <laughs> I, before, before I um, was, well, before I realized what I was doing, I would name my friends and I'd be like, Forest Pal, Sky Buddy, <laughs> Lil Buddy, Water Pal, and I'm like, okay, actually, I should probably make these a bit more cohesive because I will not remember what any person is based on these really vague names I'm giving them. <laughs> yeah, Sky Budo. Oh my gosh. Yep. I was like, Lil Sprout, Moth Bud. <laughs> so I'm trying to be a bit more specific now when I'm giving names because there's only so many Sky Buds I can have. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that that was the naming scheme for, though. I named a bunch of my sky friends after Zodiac constellations. Oh, that's smart. Let's see, I'll have to, I'm gonna have to start doing, having some sort of mnemonic device. Okay, so we've got two. I thought I had found three, but maybe, okay, I just, can we appreciate this lineup? That looks so good. Um, sky but 07, <laughs> Junior the third. <laughs> We'll then get into Kingdom Hearts naming conventions where it's like Sky Buddy 367 over, or 365 over 7, you know? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Little Sprout. Little Sprout was a good one. Oh, is this the forge? Yeah. So cool. I think this was one of my favorite elders to awaken. Lollipop! Oh my god! Thank you for the follow, it's so good to see you! If I could get a shout out for Lollipop, uh, that would be great. She is an incredible creator, does a lot of a variety of games. Um, I've gotten to work with her through Kepler stuff and just have become just a wonderful enjoyer of everything she does in the meantime. Um, yeah, hello! We're playing Sky, and it's so good. I don't know if you've played Journey, but if you enjoy Journey, I think this is, like, a must-play. Oh, see, look at that! The little butterfly in the... I love it. I thought I had... That's okay, Auditor. Thank you for the follow. Oh, Groovy lit your friend star! Yes. Thanks so much, Groovy. Oh... It's funny because sometimes I'll think I've followed someone and it turns out I haven't, even though I've like watched their streams, chatted in their chats, 
And um, oh my gosh, I want that hairstyle. What? That is so cute. Um, but yeah, I sometimes will be like, I'm gonna try and follow off offline just to see. <laughs> and then inevitably someone's like, oh, I noticed. Hey, look at this. We got two new spirits. <gasps> Tori B, thank you for the follow. Base game. Are those, is that the base game pigtails? What? So cute though. Pixelated. Hello from your lunch break. I hope you're having a good lunch. Okay. The waving bell maker. <gasps> okay. I definitely want this expression. Oh, I love what, when you're upgrading your expressions. It's so cute. Um, <laughs> You're a noticeable person. <laughs> oh, no. I think people, like, especially when they're my friends who I've, like, not followed and then I follow. It's so funny because I had one friend who messaged me and was like, hmm, interesting. And I'm like, don't give me a hard time. <laughs> of course, Torgaby. Oh, my gosh. That's so nice of you. Again, I know you're, like, working and lurking, so no pressure at all to to talk, but I just, I appreciate you also welcoming me to the Sky community. Okay, so we don't have, so these candles, these sort of special, they look different. They're like the red candles instead of the white candles. I think you can only get them through doing like a cycle, essentially, like an ascension, I think is what it's called. So once you've completed a cycle through the game, that allows you to level up your friendship and your like relationship kind of, with these different characters. Um, let's save. I want to save my hearts. Uh, so I don't want to get this cosmetic, but let's get a heart by giving some candles to this character. I appreciate, too, that, like, if you did not want to pay any money, it takes a little bit longer, but you can definitely play this game and get still very cute cosmetics without paying. I will say they have very cute paid cosmetics too. <laughs> I really want to get the moth one. Um, so that'll probably happen later. Oh, posture check. Oh. Thank you for the posture check, Barry. Uh, good chance if you have, like me, been sitting for a decent amount of time, good chance to roll your shoulders back, do a little shrug. Get your ear to your shoulders. <sighs> Take a deep breath in and out. Just kind of make sure your body does a little bit of movement. Uh, engage your core. I know I tend to let my, my belly go when I sit, so sometimes I like to just like re-engage it just for a little bit of difference there. And the hydrate. Oh my gosh, y'all are taking such good care of me. <laughs> Do some wiggles, exactly. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> I love this. That was like a big stretch. <laughs> Yawn! I love it. Okay. Oh, <gasps> friend code whispered. Heck yes. I'm gonna say since they're all... I'm going to add it now if that's okay with you, Dunk, just because I don't want to forget <laughs> to add it and, like, not... Um, contains the spell. Yes. Totally okay. Okay. I still... Even though it's a one-time use thing, I want to just make sure... Um, make sure with anyone who messaged me friend codes that, that that's something they're okay with. Dash important. Okay, so I'm really proud. We have five of the eight spirits in this area, which is like, that feels really solid to me. <laughs> As someone who is not using any guides, who's just been kind of like really very casually exploring. <laughs> um, that's pretty cool. Oh. I would love to, this makes me kind of want to go to a butterfly exhibit i don't know what they're called um but i remember once i was in seattle and i was at the science museum and there was this there's this room or this like area where they have butterflies and you can just like <laughs> basically go and um 
hang out with butterflies. Dunk. I'll put it a little hard. It feels like weird not putting buddy. So I think maybe that's what I should do. Is start putting buddy at the end of everything. <gasps> High five. Oh my gosh, it's groovy. Also, your cloak is beautiful. <laughs> what the heck? Can we just have a moment of appreciation for what Groovy said in chat? I can hold your hand and protect you in the rain. <laughs> That's just so beautiful. Um, yes. Can I unlock high five? Is that what we're doing? I don't know. Accept a hug? Yes. Oh my god. <gasps> this is so cute. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> friends oh my goodness how can i offer a heart i would love to offer people hearts and i have no idea how <laughs> oops did this it might have gotten stuck <laughs> or maybe uh oh oh no i think it bugged <laughs> supersonic thank you for redeeming thanking the mods at any point in time, if y'all wanted to thank the mods, it is always a good time because they do so much to make sure the world of the stream is kept safe for everyone involved. Okay, I'm going to chill here just in case. Um, I think I think it just like froze for a second. Isn't that Kate from Days of Rainbow? It's so pretty. Oh, I might have to hit up <laughs> the that game company and be like, do you have a code for the rainbow cape? <laughs> laying around anywhere uh, yes i will just chill here Ooh, actually you know what i'll do wait how do i how do i hit him let me by the fire let me just set up a little tea party for you <laughs> so when you get here we'll have a little tea party This is maybe our third or fourth tea party of the stream, and I have, I will not apologize for it. <laughs> this is my favorite thing to do in the game. I don't think I'll ever unequip the teapot because I'm like, there's the umbrella. That's super cute. Unless we can equip both. If anyone knows if you can equip both, please tell me. But yeah, I know Katie Hobbit, right? <sighs> it's so good. It's so good. You place the tea table exactly where TGC places it for days of... I'm trying to just channel <laughs> that game company as best as possible. It's so good. It's such a perfect spot. Like, if I were to have a tea party anywhere, it would be a lovely wooded alcove next to a bonfire. A little bit of a breeze going, but the trees are here, so we're not getting the full brunt of it, you know? It's just perfection. It's so good. Okay, while I'm here, actually, does anyone from the Sky community know, like, what's what's this candle? Is that what allows me to sit and talk to people? Maybe. Yay! Oh, wait, Groovy's here. Perfect. Hit him. All right. Yeah, these base pigtails are so cute. I did not anticipate them being that adorable. Oh. That's a bench to talk to Rams. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Look at this. We're having, hey, let me sit. I want to sit. Hey. Oh my gosh. Spinachy. What the heck? Welcome in Raiders. Okay. Hold on. We're having a little tea party. Hi! Oh my gosh! Spinachy, thank you for the raid! Holy mackerel! Welcome in, raiders. Y'all, if you haven't um, yet greeted the raiders, take this chance to give them a little snack. We're having a tea party. Y'all came at the perfect time. Um, thank you! If you're not following Spinachy, you're missing out on an incredible content creator, human being. Um, what were you playing? Let me know how how your stream was. My name is Kimchika. Uh, if you haven't been here before i am both an indie developer as well as a content creator i usually play games that are a bit more 
like cozy, a bit more compassionate. <laughs> Groovy's just throwing the confetti. I love it. Um, today we're playing, we play a lot of indies. Uh, I also dabble in variety. So if you like Metroidvanias, turn-based RPGs, um, I, I love good adventure games, uh, puzzle games. I really dabble in a lot of things except for first-person shooters. Uh, if you like that vibe, please stick around like a cafe. If you want to just lurk and enjoy the atmosphere, you are welcome to. If you want to have conversation, I love to talk. So let me know how your day's been. But thank you everyone for the follows. Let me just shout y'all out really quick. No pressure to talk if you wanted to lurk. But Sewer, John, Anakin, Cytrix, Luna, and Sin, thank you for the follows. Welcome in. Uh, it's good to have y'all here. Uh, again, we're playing Sky. It's free. <laughs> um, the stream is sponsored by that game company, but y'all, if you haven't played Journey, uh, I would highly recommend starting there. It's on sale right now. It, it's a game that got me into like wanting to make games and do more in the game industry. And working with them and being able to play Sky for its PC launch has been outstanding. Uh, so yeah, welcome in. Journey, thank you, right, Spinachi? Journey is one of the best games ever made. Hands down. It's just a fact. <laughs> it's like one of the most impactful game experiences. I think, yeah, Groovy says it's in the, oh, it's amazing. It's in the MoMA, if I'm remembering correctly. It's like in some ma famous museum because it is like considered a work of art. So go play Journey. It's beautiful. Um, Austin Wintory, oh my God. Austin Wintry is like one of the greatest composers, um, hands down. It's true. Like there are few composers that I like know by name. He is one. Um, yeah, flow. Oh, thank you. Flow is the title I was forgetting. I was like, there was a third title. Um, flow, flower and journey are like the three sort of starter pack for that game company. Um, again, Sky, I would put in there as well, again, because it's free, you can play it on mobile, you can play it on Switch, on PC, it's pretty much everywhere at this point. Um, and yes, Austin did work on Stray Gods as well. It's so good. Oh. But yeah, we're currently having a tea party. We were just taking a little chat break. Groovy here is going to be showing me around, I think, um, if you were open to it, Groovy, and just uh, holding my hand and flying fly into some pretty cool places <laughs> so yeah oh my gosh is that game company here oh hello <laughs> welcome in that game company you've got many fans in the chat um we all love your games so here i'll let you i'll let you take the lead groovy and you can show me if there's like maybe if also you have a favorite spot in the next area i don't know if you have a personal fave but would love to see just like i don't know because we're, we're going into the rainy area, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, oh my gosh, Spinach. Kim Cheek is the perfect creator partner with for games like this. That is like the highest compliment you could ever give me, <laughs> honestly. Oh my gosh. Sin, we were singing. I was like, I can show you the world. <laughs> like this is definitely giving like, do you trust me? Just take my hand. Oh my God. See, we're all on the same page here. It's so good. And you'll hear it. It was no, no sounds. Oh my gosh. I was trying to get to that one earlier, Proofy. Oh, yeah. So what's kind of incredible is, um, yeah, earlier today, I was like singing Aladdin, basically just like this game is pretty much my like whole new world magic carpet ride in a game form. It's just perfection. And so because we found that figure, we were able to level up our wings. And so you can see at the top, we've got four, I think. And that's just like our stamina to be able to fly. Okay. So in this area, what's really cool is this is where we start seeing a bit more like tension um before this anytime you walked around the world there wasn't really anything to stop you from really doing like i don't know really having anything stopping you <gasps> but 
in this area, there's rain, and the rain actually can drain your light. And so you have to be careful to not be caught by yourself or to not be caught without a light nearby because you won't be able to fly as far without your energy. Um, this reminds me of Brighter Ico. Yes! Oh my gosh. Also, Groovy, feel free to let me know if there's like etiquette um, that I am not doing that I probably should note. <laughs> Uh, for folks who, who are unfamiliar, um, this is an MMO, so Groovy is a person who is guiding me through this world. And so I'm still learning some of the norms in this, in this society, <laughs> basically. I'm learning what are the ways people interact. Um, so apologies if I'm a little bit clunky with some of this. <gasps> So this is our first spirit. So we're going to be following the spirit to try and relive its memories and then essentially save it, unlock it. Oh, this one's really pretty. The umbrella is perfection. It's so good. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to snag the umbrella. I don't know if that one's a paid cosmetic or if that's um, one that we can maybe unlock. I'll have to I'll have to investigate further. I think maybe it's a candle one. I love that you can see the silhouettes of other people playing too. It just makes the world feel more full. Okay, so let's. Whoops, wrong one. <laughs> There we go. We've just rescued that spirit. Oh. Ooh, I want that hairstyle and cape. <laughs> this looks like siblings, maybe. I love the umbrella. It's recent from an event we just had, and you get it with tickets. Next year, you should be able to get this. Okay, cool. I love that also they seem to not totally abandon cosmetics or areas after events. That's really nice. Oh, in-app purchase. Okay. That's okay. Even better, honestly, because I'm like, with a game like this that's free, I'm very, very okay saying I want to spend like money that I would have perhaps used purchasing the game on in-app cosmetics to just support the developers. Um, So, whoop, there we go. Yep, right person. I was like, did I hold the wrong person's hand? <laughs> um, something I think courteously is when you light someone, you bow at them with the triumph bow or with the wave emote. Ooh, okay, that's good to know. Okay. Oh. Okay, so there's another spirit. There's a lot of spirits in this area. So I feel like I've already, I, I'd already found maybe three. Whoa. And this area is also kind of infinitely easier when you have a buddy, because when I was by myself trying to explore, it was really difficult because anytime I went sort of outside of the shelters, I couldn't fly because my energy was just gone. <laughs> Gator Blossoms, about to lurk for din. Thanks for being some amazing vibes for my Monday night. Thank you. I really appreciate you hanging out. I hope you have a good dinner. <laughs> I hope it's very delicious. Oh my gosh, look. These other buddies are being friends and helping each other. Whoops. <laughs> We're all doing the same quest together. Oh my gosh, look at this. All four of us are hanging out, being friends. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's funny, because I'm like, I know we're not in the same like party or holding hands with the other people, but it still feels really nice to know we're all kind of like helping the same person at the same time, right? <gasps> hi, Katie. Oh my god, hi. <laughs> um, that person is a new person to just ask for a hand. <gasps> They're welcome to join. I don't know if that's like possible to have more than one 
buddy at the same time, but if you wanted to help, I, I do not mind. Boop. I am loving Sky. I'm having a really good time. Um, we're really just kind of, whoops, this player needs help. Oh wait, I don't want to, I don't want to help. I want to be helped. <laughs> there we go. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I think this, it's, it's challenging me in a way that I have not allowed myself to be challenged, I guess. And that's playing a game with other people online. <laughs> I've always been really nervous about it. Uh, I've dabbled in it before, but I've always kind of like not stuck with it. And something about this game feels very different and it's been very nice to do. Have you tried the trials? Wait, what are the trials? I've gone through all of the main areas, um, if that's what you mean. Yeah, thank you for going slowly, Groovy. It's nice just to be able to sort of look at the world. Absorb some of the story. It's kind of nice because, again, I feel like while this game is literally about saving this world and the levels are a bit more literally the different times of day, I would say, like you start at dawn, kind of go into the afternoon, there's evening, all of that. Um, I appreciate... Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Um, I appreciate that, again, it feels a bit more like life cycle uh, than just... Uh, I don't know. Than, than maybe it meets the eye. What was he? Bonfire. Yeah. I appreciate, too. I think Groovy's doing this really well. Um, that game company, when they were in here showing off the, the beginning of the game and showing you the secret... Well, I don't know if it was a secret, secret area, but it was a very magical area. I think what I appreciate about other players in this game, too... Whoa. Secret platform is that everyone does seem to notice and appreciate details in a way that I felt like felt like I was the only person who kind of appreciated these details. Like the fact that other players are stopping to say like, cozy bonfire, or look at this person taking a nap. Um, oh, let's see if I can, there we go. Oh, did it not? Hold on. Press F to receive winged light. Why no receive? There we go. Okay. But yeah, I appreciate that others in this area and in this game appreciate details. This is called Forest Brook. Oh, this whole area. So this person has such a cute outfit too. Everyone in this game is adorable. Four wing light here. Like on this, in this area. Okay. okay your face is a magical area. <laughs> Sick burn. Dang. <laughs> wow. Can't believe you came into the chat and said that. How dare. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Whoa. And this is one of the areas where you first start seeing this blight in much more prominent ways. <gasps> this be a man, sir. Thank you for the resub. Welcome in. <laughs> I'm going to ride my state. Oh my gosh. Enjoy the bike ride. Have a good lurk. And thank you again for the raid, Spanishy. That's super, super kind of you. Uh, really appreciate it. I'm doing the fire trial right now. Oh my God. Good luck. I am super excited to figure out what these trials are eventually. I'm, I'm enjoying our time in the forest, though. Honestly, the fa Ooh, hello. Again, I think the, the thing about this game is I am just 
continuously surprised at how much there is once you really get into it. No, Pixelated, this is, I think, virtually everywhere. It's on mobile, Switch, PC, playable on Steam Deck. Confirmed it runs smoothly, says Dunk. Um, I think, and folks can correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's on PlayStation as well. Um, and there's crossplay. Yes, thank you, Stolen Stars. Uh, so if you have an account on mobile already, you can connect your PC, you can connect your Steam account. And if... <laughs> and if you have a Steam account and you're starting it here, you can connect it to your mobile account as well. <laughs> I like this pattern of memories. What I appreciate too is that at first I was like, oh, I feel sad. You only get to see these characters like once and it happens so quickly, like relatively quickly. But as you play each loop, you are bonding with each of these spirits more and more. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> okay, I was like, I hope we get the march. I hope we get the march as our expression. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh. Okay, the next spirits here are carry well spirits. You will let go of my hand, but stay in the light circle. Okay. Good to know. So I'll let go once we get once we get there. I'll let go. Look at how beautiful we look. Can I, can I just say we're really cute? Wow. I want, I think I would ha like the Hobbiton area, the first one is very pretty, but I think I would want to live in this wooded area. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's not close enough. It's being a little finicky. Will you let me? There we go. They're called carry ball spirits. I always call them carry light spirits. So, oh yes, I'll stay in the light. Ah, I see, I see. Oh. What? That's so cool. Also, what is this? What is... Oh my gosh, teamwork makes a dream work. We're both carrying it. It's so cute. <laughs> Oh, what is that little buggy? <laughs> it's a little, like, sort of mite. I know, kudos to Groovy for being such a lovely guide. just so cute oh my gosh crab <laughs> oh my gosh is this buddy helping us too <gasps> hello new friend Oh my gosh, we're walking in sync. We're such a team. We're doing so good. <laughs> oh, I'm sadly going to go now. I'm going to try my first speed run of this game before it gets too late for me. I'll come back if you're still alive. It was so good to meet you, Stolen Stars. I hope you have a good time speed running it. Best of luck. And thank you for hanging out. I will see you later.
<gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> the little neck bobble is so good. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> That's really cute. Yes, oh my gosh, please, yeah, please do Stolen Stars. Next one is very hard and we must get shelters, so stay close. Okay, here we go. True challenge level. Okay, let me get that. Whoops. Oh, it looks like my camera's stuck. There we go. I like that there are these different ways that we can challenge ourselves and different ways to get the spirits. And so it's not simply just following, oh, that's a glowy spot. Um, the fact that there are different levels of challenge, like carrying the spirits versus um, just following the timer. That's another element of challenge that this game provides. And so I think on the surface level, it's like, oh, this is, this is a very chill game. Um, and I think given any help, in collaboration with friends, you can pretty much achieve anything, but it's like, if you're doing this by yourself, it would be infinitely harder. Okay. So I'll stay in the circle. Oh, I think this is timed and carrying. <gasps> Ooh. I'm growing a flower. Blue circle fills up, then go again. Okay. This one is definitely hard. It doesn't like the rain. Always better with friends. Oh! Oh, was I not underneath it enough? Okay. Apologies. We'll try again. So really, really avoid the rain. Oh my god. Okay. I wonder, does the light get bigger the more folks get involved with it? All right, so then we chill here, and then we go. So next we go underneath here to get to the shelter. Nice. Whoops. And we'll get here, and this umbrella will give us shelter, and it'll grow another plant, probably. Attention! Oh my gosh, how do we get all the way over there? <gasps> we're gonna have to climb up these stairs. Ooh oh no! Jumping, jumping up! Will we make it? Will we make it? Oh, over here, over here, over here, over here. No, I fell, no! Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, I didn't even see that mushroom. Okay, I get it, I get it. So this is right here, okay. Boop. Dang, this is definitely one I wouldn't have been able to figure out had I not had someone guiding. I hope that other buddy comes through and still does it with us. I don't know where they ended up. Oh, there they are! Oh, <gasps> perfect! Okay. Yeah, it's like, if you don't have someone telling you, this is, like, nigh impossible to see. I guess you can just find any- whoa, whoa, whoa. Any shelter. Thank you, Stolen Stars! Okay. We're here. 
Now we go to the umbrella. It's like the most intense game of balancing I've ever played. <laughs> okay, so now we know where the mushroom is. Wait, where are you going, buddy? Gotta go up this way. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then we go to the umbrella. Oh my gosh, this is, this is gonna, let's go, let's go. Oh, not the umbrella. <gasps> Good eye, Groovy, oh my gosh. This is so intense. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I see. I see. Oh, over here? Yay. Oh my gosh. Right? This game is gorgeous. Okay, we're almost there. I think I see it. I think I see it. campfire oh my goodness wow I can take a full breath whoops hit F here oh my gosh I was so tense the entire time. I'm like, we cannot let this light go. <laughs> we cannot, we cannot let the rain take our light away. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <sighs> well done, see how you did it? It took me ages when I first tried to do this, right? Well, again, I'm like, that's something that I would have never well, I could have sorted it out by myself, but I think that's something I would have probably given up had I been by myself because of it's just... It's just so much trial and error if you don't have someone at least giving you an initial step, right? Oh. Okay. Goodbye, little... Oh. I was like, where did the other buddy go? But I guess that's okay. I think that's the other thing. It's like friends in this game are kind of like, what's the word? They just sort of, they come and go in a lot of different ways um, that I think is really nice. It sort of shows that people, you know. Oh, <laughs> little dust mite. Let's see, I did get this one, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but yeah, people will come and go, and it's like, okay, that they're not sort of permanently, like, not everyone's going to hold your hand, and that's okay. And I think that's a really nice sentiment as well. Ooh. There's another one. <gasps> Hello. What is this? Oh, these balance beams, scary. <laughs> That's so cool. It's okay if they don't want to hold my hand. I'll simply cry. <laughs> no, oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but true. Honestly, it was kind of funny when I started this game. I was just like, 
giving everyone candle, like offering my candle to everyone, offering my hand to everyone. I was like, I don't know what this means. I'm just trying to be friendly. <laughs> that was like probably, probably not what I should be doing. It was really fun though. <laughs> it was a good time while it lasted. Oh, look at the lights. God, the glow of the candles is so beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> now I show you Granny. Oh, <gasps> we get to meet Granny. Oh my gosh. Again, there is power in trusting, like, in giving your hand to someone else and allowing them to take you and show you things. And as someone who is a type A person who often doesn't uh, let go of control easily, <laughs> it's really cool to play a game like this. Um, the particle effects for the light and blur are sweet. Oh, good. You need one more spirit. I see you have seven out of eight. Yes. Um, done pretty good. I would say then for this area. Thanks. Thanks to your help as well. Oh. What is this? Look at these giant trees. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Oh. Ooh. Sunny. Oh my gosh, we're out of the rain. Goodness. Look, I want to live here. This is where I would want to set up my house. In a beautiful forest near to the rain. Not too far. I can always go to a rainy day if I need to. Oh. Granny will be here in one. Wait, Granny shows up on a timetable? <laughs> what? Granny shows up at this table in an hour? Hi, hi fi. <laughs> Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. What? What does Granny do? Is this like we can have like brunch or dinner with Granny? Hang out? Oh, every two hours and gives wax. Lots of wax. Oh my gosh, wax Granny? Yes. She gives us orbs of light that give wax. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that's good to know. I will come back. <laughs> I will come back for Granny. <gasps> Yay, more wings. Wax Granny is such a good candle company. Get her cat. I mean, you can. You already have yours. You know, you have Turan made, but you could always have a secondary. You know what I mean? Also... I've been using something rosy, something early, I'm all out, but something rosy has been amazing. This is Kidder Cat's, I don't know if you can see it, it's probably a bit too light, but one of my favorite candles ever is something rosy. You can talk later, <laughs> no problem. Map shine, sit. Okay. Map shine, whoop. Let me sit. I fits and I sit. Oh, you know what? That's good, Kidder Cat. We, we dabble in things. We learn what we want to do and what we just had fun with for a little bit. <laughs> Yay. So now we have this unlocked on the maps. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> you mean, what is this? <laughs> what? Is that Granny? Is that Wax Granny? Also, can we appreciate just how vast this map is? It's huge. We're only in this area. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> right, exactly. Like we like to dabble in things. Boop. <laughs> you need to unlock lots of map shrines, but you can go slowly. My theme. <laughs> I like to say I, I took this from um, Snowy, who is a streamer. I don't think she really streams much anymore. Um, but Snowy, uh, called herself a turtle streamer, and I was like, I vibe with that so hard. 
Uh, I am a turtle as well, where I do like to take things slower and steadier. And for a time, I actually was a bit apprehensive about it, especially on stream. I think oftentimes I felt like, oh, people feel like they need to see things happening and feel the plot and keep it moving, you know? And eventually I was like, hmm. but then I'm not experiencing the game how I want to. And I have now decided, you know what? I'm going to play slowly and I'm going to enjoy the game in the ways I want to. And if folks don't like it, they can find other streams to hang out in. If you were a turtle, would you have flippers or feet? I mean, turtles kind of have flippery feet, don't they? <laughs> Isn't that kind of what they do? All right here, let me light this right here. Oh, is it not letting me? Here, maybe. Do, 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 do. I will say sometimes, because I want that fire flame to come up and it's not letting me. There we go. Hey, Lysander, welcome in. I'd like to show you a cavern, but I would do the cavern after you get eight out of eight spirits here. I'll just show you where it is. Okay. Is this, this where we're heading currently? Oh, I love a good bridge magic. Ooh. I think I see. What is this secret? <gasps> beautiful. What the heck? How beautiful is that? Oh my God. Yes, let's do it. Oh my gosh, that's like the way the sound just muted and went away. Oh, this is the game with hand holding, yes. <laughs> True tortoises are the one that have feet. True tortoise. Hold on. Oh God. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh. We are diving into the depths of the world. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my gosh, wait. I see the prince. Oh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Astronauts use Linux. <laughs> you can't open windows in space, Droopy. <laughs> you came in with the perfect vibes. Welcome in, Droopy. Hi. Oh my god. I very much appreciate that, but. <laughs> so we can do the Prince Quest later. I want to see more of this cavern. Um, and I can come back and do the Prince Prince quest at another time. Again, I'm okay playing this game slowly and returning. How, however is needed. I see someone over there. Excuse me. Ugh, butterflies are so pretty. Again, I want to go to a butterfly room. Oh, I have done this before, I think. Have I done this? Maybe I have. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Even if I did, I don't think I remembered it well enough. Oh my gosh. The colors in this game are so beautiful. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. You know what I love in games? Is jellyfish in the sky. <laughs> I think just now, looking at this, I've identified jellyfish in the sky is a thing that I will always, 100% of the time, admire in a game. Dang.
Go to door. Okay. Okay. Oh! Are you gonna have to open the door and then I have to open it on the other side, maybe? Teamwork is gonna make the dream work! So then I will light this. Oh, wait, no, that's not gonna. <laughs> Here it is, maybe. Yes. Pink room. Hello, you can come in. I will wait on the other side. Oh. Okay. Let's make sure and get the spirit just to be safe. Oh, wow, you, you like. Jumped ahead a level. Oh, I see, I see! Oh. Here we go, we'll turn this on. Beautiful! Okay, I know we don't have to light these, but, you know, it's good. It's important. We want to spread as much light as possible. want to fly. Oh my goodness. So pretty. What is that show? It's showing a super long path. Oh my god. It's funny because I almost feel like in a place this peaceful and beautiful that I shouldn't talk. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, it's so, it's so calming and beautiful that I'm just like, you could also just enjoy it. Band is reunited. Oh, this is so cute. Eldritch, welcome in. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, let me finish up this expression. This is a two person spirit to get. <gasps> okay. That's good. I want to get all of that when I can. Oh, did I not hold your hand? Sorry. There we go. Oh, but yeah, Eldritch Lesbian, it's good to have you here. We're playing Sky today. Um, today's stream is sponsored by that game company, but I have been a fan of theirs over a decade now at this point. <laughs> We're not close to two yet decades. I, I will say we're not we're not that old yet, but getting there. Um, and playing Sky has been such a joy. It's free if you wanted to give it a try, uh, and you can just type in exclamation point Sky if you wanted the the link to the Steam page. Um, but it's available pretty much everywhere, even if you didn't want to play it on Steam. Uh. Oh, now you can head hustle with friends further down the tree. Oh. Oh, like in that? Oh. Looking for a special, I think, two person spirit to try and free. Just admiring this. Like, this could be. This is a desktop background. 
actually, we started here, go down to the right. Okay. Oh, okay, I see it. I think I see what we're going towards. Okay, so this is this door here. Great colors. Yeah, I think they... And we've seen a lot of, like, greens um, in particular, but especially in some of the later levels, they work with some darker palettes and more ominous palettes that I think are just... Oh, super impactful. In one of the final levels, I was like, oh, it just, they do a really good job of building tension while not making it feel bad. I don't know, like bad in the sense of um, it's it's tension, but it's not just like need needlessly stressful, which I appreciate. Like even amidst the tension, it can, it still feels like it's relatively chill. Oh, what is this? We see more of this pottery. Lots of lights here to gather. That's cool. We don't know if we're maybe I think Ruby maybe is looking for this spot. Um, you would release the butterflies so you can deep call to go up. Okay. Oh, <gasps> whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? These butterflies are so strong. <laughs> they really carry us. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, that's handy. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. It's great because I'm meant making these mental notes for all of these different spots. Because again, even that we're going through, you're having someone guide you. Um, you're eventually going to play this area again. And so remembering where all of these wings are important. Now I teach mods to fly down and up with the birds. Okay. And for folks who aren't familiar, mods are essentially new players. Uh, that's what I've surmised at least. And feel free if you are part of like more embedded in the sky community than I am. Let me know. So here are the birds. So we're going to fly down. And then up with the birds. Oh, wow. You know what I'm looking forward to is getting to the point where I know this well enough that I can help out other mods and like be a part of, <laughs> you know, someone else's journey in, in learning more about this game. I like the wings, sort of manta ray mixed with moss and flower petals. Yeah. Last part, use the light looms on the big mountain. Okay, the light, or the light blooms. Okay. So let's, we'll probably head back out and then we'll see the big mountain here. Okay. And then we'll look for the blooms. Which I think I see, I think maybe are these glowy things? Oh! Okay. I love that they react to us too, that's really nice. Oh! So pretty! These charge us. Oh, so they work kind of like flowers, like candles. Anything with that glow. So good. Oh, I see it. Oh my gosh. We can see in the distance. Now we're charged and we can fly all the way across. Oh my gosh. Okay, I lied. 
The last area wasn't my favorite. This is my new favorite. <laughs> I think with every area, I'm like, no, this is my new favorite. This is my new favorite. But yeah, Lysander, this is, I think this isn't the base cape. I You start with a cape that almost looks like the cape from Journey. Um, it's sort of like a brown and it has some dots on it. Whoa. <gasps> what was that? Um, and then this is one that you can get as part of like a seasonal event, I think. Um, I was gifted it by the that gaming company, uh, that game company, but I think it's part of um, like the seasonal event and you can get it with like candles. This is the cavern and it was very hard for many of my new friends to orientate with, so I would just fly around. Okay. Whoa. Oh, wow. The way that the clouds are just rolling. That's amazing. Oh, is this back to Granny's table? Oh, okay. <laughs> Our folks just chilling here waiting for Granny. <laughs> Oh, maybe we had ready taking a nap. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I feel also very proud that I'm at a point where I'm like, I think I understand where things are. Okay. Oh, and now we're back to the rain, which since we do have a buddy, we're not having, doesn't feel like it's affecting us too much. But again, if you're by yourself, the rain will dim and like slowly deplete your energy a little bit. Seven out of eight. And then now we're back, I think it looks like to the rainy woods, which is still one of my favorite areas for sure. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So technically, I still do need one more spirit, but since I had a friend, I think that's why I was able to get in. Um, can you press your help button so I can see which spirit you are missing? Okay. Was that the help button? This one? Maybe that one? Heart Machine been lurking for a bit, but it's EP time. Good night, friends. Good night, Heart Machine. Thank you for the lurk. Um, also, I have to say your comments on American Arcadia and the Discord have been awesome. Um, in the emotes menu, okay, there's a question mark. Where's the emotes menu? Doo -doo -doo. E for emotes. Oh. Request a player. Is that what it is? <laughs> Player will now lead you to a spirit. Ah, um, I just love how being around another buddy recharges you. Yeah, I agree. And I, as as a very introverted person, like I love people, but I am an introvert. I appreciate that um, the game isn't about necessarily talking to people all the time like I think this idea of just presence rejuvenating you is a really nice one for me because sometimes like when I hang out with folks I feel like oh I don't want to have to talk all the time I think that's what sometimes stops me from maybe being as social as I could be but the fact that it's like no you can literally just hold hands and vibe together um, I appreciate that about this game Um, when any, whenever anyone needs help, you tap. The button signals to people you need a hand and shows the guide what you need. That's so handy, and it's so like, what is the word, uh, unobtrusive, um, to the gameplay experience. That's really nice. Ooh, we have an archer here. With the same hairstyle as Groovy. <gasps> Groovy. Um, yeah, well, I think there's 
there's the moments, you know, it's like you can be bubbly and chatty, but then it's like, I will get to, um, I will get to my hotel room, especially at events. Cause I'm, I'm mentally prepared. I'm like, okay, I know I'm going to have four days where I'm going to be seeing people. I'm excited to see people. Oh, that's a fun expression. <laughs> oh no. Um, and I can like s almost store up the energy and mentally prep myself because I am genuinely excited to hang out. Then afterwards, I generally have about a week where I'm like, I don't hang out with people. Uh, I need to recharge. <laughs> it's just like, let me just stay at home. So uh, I think that's one thing where it's like introversion doesn't necessarily mean like a dislike of people. We found a spirit together. Um, just means when I recharge, I have to like generally do it uh, sort of in my own personal space and bubble. Hey, snake. <laughs> Um, you have your eight base spirits and now can go through the door to grandma's alone. <laughs> I can visit granny's house. <sighs> um, oh no. Crash 22 minutes in. How far did you get to go on this, um, on your speed run? I still feel exhausted. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this year's PAX was strangely, like... It was more rejuvenating than tiring, which was really interesting to me. Um, I haven't felt that, I guess, inspired after a PAX in a long time. I usually enjoy it, but something about this PAX was just, <laughs> I got to meet that game company, so maybe that was a big part of it. Um, but something about this PAX was really lovely in a way that I haven't experienced in a, in a bit. And I've been going to PAXs for a few years now. Couldn't even finish Isle of Dawn, what? Okay. Let's see. I think, so that spirit is a neutral color, so I think I've done that one already. I hold your hand and you get these two spirits, okay. Do -do. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> I'm in a cave of emotions. Wait, what's the word? Not the cave of emotions. Um, <laughs> I'm forgetting the reference now, and it's such an obvious one. Uh, I'm in a bla glass box of emotions. Oh, damn. Missed it. Yeah, for me, it was totally meet amazing people like yourself at PAX. The games were nice, but the connections that I made was my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Someone nearby has replenished. That's so nice. Okay. Yeah, and maybe that was the difference for me, too. I think while I did focus on the games, I focused a little bit more on the people, and I think that definitely helped me personally. Okay. Oh, the umbrella! That's so dang cute! <laughs> okay. Should I go over to this one? Boop. Okay, so it's Oh, you can hear the rainfall. Oh, hello. Hi, friend. Oh, do I have to guide it? Because am I holding your hand? <gasps> what? Oh, my gosh. Oh, you need to do it. Okay. Here I go. Do, 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 do. We're gonna go fast. This is Sonic. This is the Sonic part of the game. <laughs> I'm glad that's not too far apart. <laughs> Otherwise, I would not be able to do it. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. 
Wait, oh, did I lose him? Wait, where'd he go? Oh, thank you. Do, do, do. Oh, there you are. Oh my gosh. Here we go. I was like, where did he go? Yay. That was fun. <laughs> oh my God, they're so cute. Jump scare. Jump scare your buddy. <gasps> I get the giggles. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, OK. I will say this is probably a good stopping point. I have um, a podcast recording, actually, that I have to get ready for in about <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> so this is probably where we'll have to end it here. I would love to join you in. Yes. Yeah, we should. Um, I'll probably I think I'll play this next Monday um, just to like keep it kind of on the same day. Like a little we, we love a pattern. We love familiarity. So we're going to keep this on a Monday um, and next Monday. We'll see if we can get to like actually go through a full cycle or the remainder of the cycle and get through Eden together. If you would like to join. Um, curious how many people we could get all holding hands together. <laughs> what's what's the limit what's the max um yeah so thank you everyone um if you haven't yet drop hearts mod hearts regular hearts um into the chat for yourselves and for the mods for just making sure that everyone in chat had a good time that um everything went great i didn't have to stress because again the mods do an incredible job of making sure everything is just running smoothly um about eight. Okay, that's the max in the server. That's good to know. Bye, y'all. Have a good night. <laughs>